Good morning. Two dash five nine. Disassembly and reassembly of line feed and plate and shift mechanisms. Today we are going to be removing the line feed and plate and shift mechanism. And this is the rear of the teletype and it is all of this stuff right here. This is a close up of the mechanism. So quite a lot of stuff to take off. One, remove the retainer ring, delaying lever, and felt. I'm going to be removing this delaying lever, which is this. Retainer ring, lever, and felt washer. Two, Remove the delaying latch spring. This is the delaying catch spring. Three, remove the retainer ring, delaying latch, and felt. I've decided to leave this spring on. And so let's get this done. That's for safekeeping. Four, remove the machine screw lock washer and flat washers. Next up is a machine screw right here that holds this entire bracket on. Five, remove the stop bar shift link. Remove the stop bar shift link bracket. This is the stop bar shift link bracket. Six, remove the retainer ring and platent shift link. This is the platent shift link. We're gonna pop this retainer ring. We're gonna pop this on. I'm going to put this back for safekeeping. This piece is rusted, but I think I might be able to get it fixed up. 7. Remove the retaining ring. Remove the machine screw, lock washer, and flat washer. Remove the connecting link and adjusting link. The next step requires this is a adjustment link and a retaining link, and it kind of moves, I guess, uh, up and down with this adjustment now. It says to take these bolts off, and I'm going to leave them on for now, and clean them up later, so adjust this retaining link. Eight, remove the pawl spring, bell crank spring, and bell crank pawl spring. Okay, part eight requires that I remove the pawl spring, the bell crank spring, and the bell crank pawl spring. Oops. But that was done from a different in one of the other steps. So this spring is somewhere else. So I'm only working with these two springs. This should come out. Did something happen in here? What it is ain't exactly clear. The man with the gun over there. Me, I got 
to be well. I said, now stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look, what's going down? Nine. Remove the bell crank post, lock washer, flat washer, line feed bell crank assembly, line feed bell crank extension, and nut plate. I'm going to take it all off as one unit, like so. I'm going to leave it, and of course this uh, nut plate. This is the nut plate. This is the post. This is the bell crank extension. 10. Remove the hexagonal nut, lock washer, flat washers, and plate assembly, bushing, line feed, bell crank pole, and shoulder screw. In part 10, this is the line feed platen mechanism. And this is the bell crank pawl. So let's get cracking. I was going to leave it all together, but I don't want to skip steps. This is a bushing. Or hold on, that's no. Very important. This is a bushing. That goes in here. Looks like that. And it goes on like so. And up lastly, here's the bolt that comes out. Eleven. Remove the hexagonal nut, flat washer and to line feed on carriage return pawl. Step 11 is to take this uh, bolt off of this uh, line feed carriage return pawl. And I'm gonna leave it, keeping it all together. 12, remove the bell crank spring and pawl spring. The next step is to remove the bell crank spring and palm spring and just a reminder this the bell crank spring was taken off on a different uh, section the palm spring is still here Calf. 13 remove the flat washer it's asking about um, removing the flat washer and I'm pretty sure this is the one and I believe it goes on this bolt. 14. Remove the retainer ring and figure shift pawl. I'm going to remove this retainer ring and the figure shift pawl. Fifteen. Remove the plate and shift bell crank. Gonna remove the plate and shift bell crank. Sixteen. Remove the machine screw, lock washer, flat washer, nut plate, and plate and shift bell crank extension. Plate. 
this back on for safekeeping. I'm keeping this all bagged together so that they don't get mixed up with the other set. 17. Remove the function shaft. Eighteen. Remove the machine screw from the bell crank pivot bracket. Catch the lock washer, flat washer, and spacers as they fall from the mechanism. Remove the draw bar assembly. In step eighteen, we remove this draw bar assembly from this bell crank pivot bracket. It involves just taking this bolt off substantial amount of little washers that come off of this. So let's check it. Okay, so as you can see there's here's the bolt, there's two spacers. from the other side as well. No, they're still on. So there is a very thin spacer that came off of there. And we're good. Oh, I think, and there's another spacer. These puppies are very thin. Just a note, the spring was left on here from, um, I think there was a function lever. I bagged all those together so they wouldn't get mixed up. 19. Remove the two machine screws, lock washers, flat washers, and adjustable blocks from the draw bar. Step 19 is asking to take two screws off of here, the draw bar assembly. I'm leaving them on so that I'm just going to clean them up uh, later on. And I noticed that there's only one. I think it was taken off in a different process. 20. Remove the two machine screws and lock washers. Remove the bell crank pivot bracket. We are taking these two screws off of the Twenty-one. Remove the platen lowercase latch spring. Remove the retainer ring from the pivot post of the bell crank pivot bracket. Remove the platen lowercase latch. Step twenty-one calls to remove the uh, platen lowercase latch, but I'm gonna leave this on and probably remove the spring. But it's all getting bagged up. Hey, please don't tell my wife, but I have been using a lot of uh, baggies. I'm going to keep all these steps together. The thing is, this section has a lot of parts. I kind of want to keep them 
separated, but together. So, there we are. Thanks for watching. Good night. Fade there for some reason, not that there was any instruction.